Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing some boil tests using that Evernew titanium alcohol stove. And the requests are starting to roll in now. I had one from Mock Baby uh, saying, Thanks, Hiram. Any chance of doing a boil test on a more narrow type of pot or mug? I was doing my tests on this large Boy Scout type pot. Big base. Anyway, uh, Mock Baby said, I would be curious as to how the flame pattern would perform on a Snow Peak 600 Stanley Cook Kit pot or something else in that diameter range. Well, I don't have a Snow Peak 600, but I do have the Stanley. We've seen tests that I've done on this. Uh, not an item for the Graham Weenie thing, so it doesn't really fit in with the titanium. I'll put a chart down below of the uh, capacities and weights and diameters and comparison and stuff. Won't go into that here. I also have the GSI Minimalist. This is a Halulite type pot. Interesting pot. Again, I'll have the dimensions and stuff down below. Like I said, I don't have the Snow Peak 600 milliliter, but I do have the Vargo Titanium. Uh, this is what, the 750 milliliter, which is, uh, what, 25 ounces or a little over three cups. And this, the, this is an interesting little kit. Uh, inside, it's a titanium kit, I guess. I guess I'm getting to be one of those. Inside, I have the uh, titanium travel mug, the 450 model. So that's 450 milliliters, which is, what, uh, 15 ounces. And inside this, like I had said the other day, in a plastic bag is my Evernew stove. So all three things here in one kit weighed uh, 262.3 grams or 9.25 ounces. I think the Stanley pot by itself weighs that much. So again, this isn't a gram weenie item. So what I'm going to do today is a quick test using the Evernew, the titanium cross piece pot stand and my larger uh, Vargo titanium 750 milliliter mug. Now this is one that I got in a trade. It's been modified with a solid handle. I don't know, I may take it back because I like being able to collapse the handle to put it in uh, my pack or whatever. So I'm going to do a test on this. Let me go get my water prepped. I think for this test I'll use two fluid ounces because that one the other day really ran out fast. But let me set my water up and my alcohol and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I think I have my water set. Let me light this. It will let this get to a bloom. The diameter of the uh, Vargo Titanium 750 milliliter mug is 3.8 inches or 95 milliliters. The cross stand, the titanium cross stand, I hope you can see it in this light, is about three and three quarter inches. So, <coughs> excuse me, the pot or mug and the cross stand are just about the same size. Let's get this to a bloom here. I'm doing this with two fluid ounces of methanol this time, just to see what it'll do. The one ounce the other day kind of blew by fast. Okay, there we got the uh, bloom. Two cups of water and see how that went on pretty pretty nicely. It's no a little bit of wobble there. I'm not sure where I'm picking that up from. The cross stand is warping a little bit maybe. But anyway, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, a little bit slower than yesterday, but remember this is a titanium pot. Looks like we have a nice flame pattern. It's gone out through the, uh, the complete bottom of the pot and a little bit up the side. So the heat hopefully is just following right up the side. This is without a windscreen because I don't have too much wind in here except for my talking but uh, I know I've had some people complaining about that lately. 
Uh, it's a little tough to do these tests outside. What I'm giving you here is the best case scenario so you can compare one stove against another this way. But anyway, getting off topic here. Uh, it looks like a nice flame and we'll see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 558. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in 5 minutes 58 seconds. In the first test that I did using the uh, Boy Scout type pot, it took 5 minutes 40 seconds. Room temperature is two degrees higher today than what it was then, but not bad considering this is titanium. So let me just let this go now for a run out, see how long it takes for the two fluid ounces, and I'll be right back. Okay, the flames are going. Well, the outside flames are gone, it's just a couple on the inside. Come on. Now I'm going to call it at 16 minutes. Just blue. Okay, 16 minutes for run out. That's not as good as the first time. That one ran for 18 minutes, uh, 15 seconds. So I'm not sure what the difference is there. But it definitely looks like this two cups of water could have been brought to a boil uh, using maybe one fluid ounce instead of the two fluid ounces in this. So if all you needed was hot water or disinfected water, we could have easily done that. So with this one, the handle's definitely going to be warm. Yep, it's warm. But not bad for titanium. A whole titanium set here now. That doesn't make me a Graham weenie. It just makes me somebody that has some titanium stuff to cut down on weight. Okay, so again, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature 83. Humidity 66. It says wet. Uh, it's cloudy and looks like it's just about ready to rain outside. So two cups of water, uh, full boil in 5 minutes 58 seconds, and run out in 16 minutes. Not bad. Uh, I've been asked if that makes me a titanium lover, if this is going to be my replacement for the Trangia. I can't say that uh, definitely yet. I mean, there's still some stuff about the Trangia that I like. Excuse me. <coughs> that I like over this, that you can have alcohol in it, stuff like that. I don't like that just about all of my Trangias are cracking along the uh, the jets on the top. That's a real pain. Although you can buy two of them for one of these, so eh, I don't know. Anyway, just, it's still in to look at. So I hope that helps Mock Baby, his request. Um, I thank you for your request, Mock Baby. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.